Hi, Will from Music Tech here at the Summer Nam Show in Nashville, Tennessee with Charlie from Audioscape Engineering. Charlie, Hello, how's Will. it going? Good, how are you, Will? Very well, thanks. Long time no see. <laughs> <laughs> what we're looking at here is the, the newest addition to Audioscape's range. So, Charlie, maybe tell us a little bit about what Audioscape is about. So, Audioscape is all about, it's kind of our take on classic recording equipment, right? So. Not only that, but we build them you know, with new old stock parts. Uh, they're all built in the USA from end to end, even down to the cases. Uh, we try to keep all the components as USA, you know, from all USA suppliers as much as we can. Uh, but we're just about you know, keeping things here in the States and making gear that we would want to use our, our, ourselves, right? That's but the based on thing. classic designs. Correct, correct, yes. And what's this one we're looking at? So this guy here is based on an old uh, late or mid to late 50s broadcast limiter uh, made by Gates. The but stay level, is it? Correct, yes, okay. absolutely. Uh, this one has been kind of modified a bit. It's, you know, our take on it. So the recovery times are faster. You know, we added recovery times, similar to the retro, but different. Um, you have your bypass mode, which will run through tubes and transformers, and you, of course your double triple modes, faster attacks as you go up. But this, uh, this is the the big one here. Um, and what are the applications for this then? What, why why do you want to have awesome, that recovery? Time awesome on control? vocals, awesome on bass. It's like you know I call it like the Johnny Cash compressor. You know it's just got that thick, dark kind of you know massive sound to it. Very very cool. Set, there's seven tubes in this thing. And what difference uh, does turning the, the recovery time knob uh, so make? So fast, you know, will get you more of that breathy, pumpy, kind of like Beatles sort of drum sound, more of a 50s, 60s thing. But as you go slower, you're able to do, you know, 30, 40 dB of compression and not even hear it, except for that slight coloration, right? So you can really just peg that meter on a vocal and it just sits right, right, right in your mix, you know, perfectly. And what sort of ratio does that have then when you're... Uh, it's it's, it's, it's vari variable, variable, <laughs> blah, 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 blah. <laughs> variable mu, uh, but it starts at three to one. So okay. the more compression it does, that, that ratio changes, right? Because it's based, you know, it's doing reduction via a tube. Hmm. So this thing features actually the JJ6386, which is used in the Fairchild and some other, you know, very famous compressors. Uh, but yeah, all new old stock tubes. So it sounds, you know, it sounds very vintage, if you will, right? Hmm. That, that late 50s thing. So traditionally, these things are quite expensive to yes. get hold of. Very expensive, yes. How much is your one? This guy is thirteen ninety nine, thirteen ninety nine, and that's all. Like I said, all made in the USA. You know, amazing transformers, tubes, everything, the whole bit. Cool and uh, available now. Yes, available now. Okay, great, Absolutely. Charlie. Thank you very much. Well, thank you very much.